Here's how to detect faces in an image using Azure Vision Studio. Our phones know our faces, right? We get surveillance cameras everywhere, photos tag our friends automatically, so this tech is not new. But now it's super easy for everybody to use deep learning algorithms to analyze human faces in images or in video. And in this video, we're going to dive deep into understanding face analysis, exploring facial recognition, and we're going to get hands-on with Azure's face service. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how this technology works and how to apply it in the real world. What is face detection? It's an area of AI that uses algorithms to locate and analyze human faces in images or in video content. What it does is that it identifies regions of an image that contain a human face and then it returns the bounding box coordinates that form a rectangle around that face, something like this. And with face analysis, you can use facial features to train machine learning models to return other information, such as the nose, the eyes, eyebrows, lips, and many others. These are called face landmarks, and you get them when you're using the service. Now let's break this down. We're going to look at what you can get from it, then what you can do with it, and then I'm going to walk you through a guided demo to see how we can use it in a practical way. The face surface returns rectangle coordinates for any human faces that are found in an image, and on top of that it returns a series of attributes that are related to those faces. Here's a full list of attributes that you can get from it so that you can think about how many things you can do, okay? The first is accessories. And this attribute returns things like hats, glasses, and masks. And it gives a confidence score between 0 and 1 for each of them. Blur tells you how blurred the face is. And this, for example, can tell you if the face is the main focus of an image. You also get things like exposure, noise, and if there are any objects that are blocking the face in the image. We're going to see this in a bit. So before we look at how to detect faces using Vision Studio, let's first go through some conditions that your images need to meet so that you can actually use the service. The image formats that are supported are JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs, and BMPs. Also, the files need to be under 6 meg or smaller. And regarding the face size, faces that are smaller than 36 by 36 pixels won't get detected. And this is the same for faces that are bigger than 4096 by 4096 pixels. And finally, face angles, extreme lighting, and objects that are blocking the image, all of these can affect face detection. So now let's detect faces using Azure Vision Studio. And the first thing that we need to do is to create an Azure AI Services multi-service account. For this demo, we need to make sure that we create this resource in one of these seven regions. Usually, East US is a safe bet, so we're going to create an Azure AI Services resource here. We're going to search for AI Services, and we're going to create the resource. Select a resource group or create a new one. Now give it a name. These need to be unique, so choose one that's available. For the pricing tier, select Standard. Don't worry here as you're not going to be built by just deploying this resource. You only pay for what you actually use, so deploying a service or leaving it just idle won't really cost you anything. Now check the terms and conditions box and now you're good to go. Click review and create and once the validation passes, you can just click on create and the resource will be deployed. You gotta give it a minute or so until the deployment will be complete and then you can just start using it. We'll go to the face tab. The first that we're going to try out is to detect faces in an image. We're going to use some images from this dataset. And here's the link that you can use to download the zip file. There are three images and we're going to drag this first one to try out the service. Let's drag and drop it and see what attributes it detects. It detects a face and its bounding box coordinates and it also tells us that they're not wearing a mask. We can also look at the JSON output and here are all the details about the box coordinates. It gives us the face rectangle coordinates and also the face landmarks that we can see here. These facial features can be used to further analyze the faces in these images. And if we're looking at the JSON output, the first key is the recognition model and its value is recognition01. This is the default and if you're going to use the face detect API, you can choose between four models, 01, 02, 03 and 04. And the recognition 04 model is the most accurate. And Azure actually encourages us to use this model for face recognition. And this model provides improved accuracy for both similarity comparisons and person matching comparisons. Things that we won't be able to do in this demo, but this is why you would actually choose it. These recognition models are for face recognition capabilities, but we have three models that we can choose for face detection. Different face detection models are optimized for different tasks. For example, Detection 01 is the default choice for all face detection operations, but it's not optimized for small or blurry faces. For that, you're better off using the Detection 02 or 03 models. But pause the video here and check exactly what each of these return. The 03 model has everything that you need, so you might just use that one. 
All these models are working independently from each other, so the confidence threshold shouldn't be compared between them for the same image. The challenge with the face service for recognition is that because it's so powerful, Microsoft decided to make it available only to Microsoft managed customers and partners. They have the responsible AI principles in place and they need to ensure ethical use. So for advanced features like comparing faces or identifying individuals, they have this limited access policy in place. But at least you can play around with face detection to get a sense of what you can do with it. Now let's try another image with more faces. Here we have three faces that have been detected and none of them are wearing masks. Again, if we look at the JSON output, we have a list of three dictionaries with the bounding box coordinates and the face landmarks. And if we look at the third image in the dataset, here the face is covered, so the model won't detect it. This leaf here is actually obstructing the face, so it didn't detect anything. Face detection is amazing and I hope that this will help you think of potential applications for your clients. Try it out yourself and let me know what use cases you're thinking about where you could actually use the face service. And speaking of this, at getthatbadge.com we offer practice exams to help you prepare for cloud certification exams. We currently have both Azure and Databricks practice exams and we're adding more every week. Definitely check it out as if you're looking for a way to support this channel, this is a way. You both support Decision Forest and you support yourself by learning a new skill.